Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello and welcome on this Forever Waiting For Friday. I'm your host, Richard, and here beside me is my new and approved sidekick. I'm Maddie, but I'm pretty sure I'd be the superhero. Stay tuned for weather, sports, birthdays, and a special message from Dallas. Now to weather with Nick. Thanks. This morning, the temperature was 30 degrees outside with calm winds. Throughout the rest of the day, the weather will be staying the same with the temperatures in the low 30s. Make sure to watch out on the roads this weekend as two to eight inches of snow is expected to begin tonight and carry all the way over into midday tomorrow, along with winds gusting around the low 20s. That's it for weather. Back now are Richard and Maddie with lunch and birthdays. Thanks, Nick. For lunch today, in lines one and two, you have quesadilla. Line three, we have a soup and salad bar with a broccoli soup. Line four, it'll be breakfast pizza. And line five, you have a pepperoni calzone. A happy birthday goes out to Taylor Knox, Cheyenne McCall, and our very own Mr. Edwards. Hey, Mr. Edwards, hey, happy birthday. I hope it's a great one. If you didn't get the hint, happy birthday, Mr. Edwards. Now to IZ with sports. Thanks, Maddie. In sports action from last night, the swimming team fell to county rival Clinton Central. Event winners were Tyler Harness in the 200-yard freestyle and Carly Bessler in the one-meter diving. In girls' basketball news, the girls, the girls varsity basketball team fell to Southmont 54-39. Riley Seibert and Kimmy Kingma both had 11 points and the girls' JV, ba JV basketball team fell to Southmont 34 to 25. The leading scorer was Jesse Ramos with nine points. And there will be no freshman basketball practice tonight due to conference wrestling. Next practice will be Monday morning at 5:30. Speaking of wrestling, tonight in Case Arena there will be a wrestling conference meet starting at five. Be there or be square. That's all for sports. Now back to the studio for the rest of the news. Get your cap and gown so I don't have to repeat this every day. Deadline, March 1st. Cost is $52.43. Miss Rennick will need your weight, height, and a $10 deposit. If you're entering the field of theater or performing arts, which includes theater, television, radio, or music in either the area of performance or production, there is a one-time $1,000 scholarship for you. If you are interested, the application is located in stu student services. Student need to complete your FAFSA? There is a FAFSA night February 7th from 4.30 to 7 p.m. at 1111 South Jackson Street. This is to help anyone fill out the free application. Does anyone know where Dallas is? I need to ask him a question. In case you were wondering, Ask Dallas is coming back to a theater new you. Ask Dallas is back, folks. Click the link. Click the link. I got Madison here. Click the link. I wish Edwards a happy birthday. Check back, check back in two more days for more tea from HDTV.